Hey guys, so today I'm doing another mini makeup collection video because I only did one of these and then I never did any more and someone on my last video told me that I should do more of them again and I kind of like forgot about that series and I was gonna do like a mini makeup collection which if you don't know what that is if you didn't see that video I wanted to break up my makeup collection into like ew that doesn't match like little parts so like blushes bronzers, concealers, foundations, primers, eyeshadows, mascaras, blase blase. So like you could see all the products because you know when you do a makeup collection you can't, you can barely show every product let alone talk through every product. So I wanted to do this so I could break it down into like different categories of makeup so I can show you all the products individually, what ones work, what ones I regret buying, you know, like all that stuff. And then I want to declutter my makeup collection because like Doing this, going through each and every product, it kind of, like, helps, you know, you don't take the time to look at all of them every single day. So when I go through this, I can remember, like, oh, I really don't like this one, this one sucks, this one's old, and, like, get rid of the ones that I know I don't use. And then eventually do an updated makeup collection once I do all these, like, separate talk-through ones and then declutter the products I don't use and then do, like, an updated makeup collection once I finish all of those. And my window's open, so sorry if you keep hearing cars drive by, but my stepdad is on his way home with Olive Garden. I'm so excited. So, while I'm waiting for my Olive Garden, I figured I would do this. And this little clear container is from Ikea. And basically, I have bronzers, blushes, and highlighters in here. It's like my cheek products. And I did a bronzer and highlighter in the mini makeup collection. Like, that's the only one I did. So I'll link that down below if you didn't watch it. But today I'm going to go through all of the blushes. And let me know down below. Seriously, like, pause this right now and actually comment and tell me what you want to see next. Like, what category of makeup. Like, mascaras. Like, um... Concealers and powders. Primers and foundations. You know what I mean? Like, what thing you want to see next because I don't know what ones you guys will find interesting and what ones are too boring you know what I mean I don't know let me know let me know down below actually pause the video right now and comment and tell me because I really genuinely don't know what other ones to do so I'm going to go through cream blushes and then powder blushes and to be honest I have way more cream blushes than powder because very rarely said no one ever but I like cream blushes way better than powder blushes I don't know why I just I don't know, I've always been that way, so I do have way more cream blushes than powder, but I'm going to get started. Some of these are really old, I'm not even going to lie. I haven't decluttered my makeup collection, like deep clean cluttered it, ever, so some of this stuff is old, that's like the reason I'm doing this video, so no one comment and be like, oh my god, I've been watching you since 2011 and you had that product back then, like girl, yeah, some of this stuff has really probably been in here for that long, so. We are going to start with this. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And this is old because now they have two different colors in this. This is like the original one when there was only one. So I don't know what shade this is now, but this is like the original one. The only thing I don't like is this bronzer has shimmer in it. It's not matte. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really tell. But it's way, way, way too dark for me. It looks glittery in the pan, but, like, it doesn't look like it has glitter when it's swatched. But it's way too dark for me. But this blush, I really like the blush. These are a little powdery, but this was $3. You know what I mean? And basically, this was supposed to be, like, if I can find it, the NARS Orgasm Blush and Laguna Bronzer, like, duo. That's what this was supposed to be inspired by and I like this way better personally but it's like three dollars versus I think this is like 28 or something probably I don't know but just so you can see the blush is really different the bronzer I mean it doesn't look different but they're really different but honestly believe it or not I like the blush way better than this bronzer I use the bronzer a lot because I think at this point was when I lost my benefit hula so this was the bronzer that I was using, but I actually like this blush more. Okay, like basically if I was to buy one of these full size, I would buy the blush. I love this blush. It is literally so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Like my camera's not even... Oh my god. Camera. 
This is so pretty. I wish that it was doing it justice because it is literally like the most beautiful blush ever. Love it. I don't know if I would buy the full size just because it's really expensive. And I'm not a blush person. Like, I don't even wear blush half the time. I actually did put on blush today. You can't even tell. Like, I don't wear blush that much. And when I do, I don't put on a lot of it. So, I don't know. I've just never been a blush person. But anyway, Orgasm Blush is, not going to lie, really, really, really pretty. Then I have this thing, which is probably as old as some of you watching this. Like... This is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick in Big Apple Blush. Girl, <laughs> I've had this for so long, I don't even want to know. Like, sometimes I do, but I don't. But sometimes I wish that there was, like, dates on this that it expired because it's a, it would be embarrassing to me, but it would just be funny because I'm just kind of curious. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I don't really use this one. It does blend out actually pretty nicely. But, again, I like cream blush way more than powder blush. I don't know why. I just think it's more natural. I use the e.l.f. Um, small stipple brush and just stipple it in and then blend it out. And occasionally I'll put powder blush over it, but I just, I'm not a blush person. I don't know why, but I'm not. So, yeah. That's okay. This Benefit Majorette blush, I never was interested in getting this, but it was on sale at Ulta one day for like $10 or something crazy. So I bought it, and I actually really, really like it. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even care that I just cussed. I'm so pissed. Do you see what just happened to me? This is a pearl. Like, not a real pearl, but you know what I mean? Like, look at it. Like, that's a pearl. And it, it's, like, pink. Girl, what the hell? Benefit. It smells so good, though. I have no idea what it's supposed to smell like. But it smells so good. Anyway, I really like this. It's a super peachy, corally blush, but the packaging is just freaking adorable. And I actually really like this. If you like cream blush, this is a good one. Okay, then we have these two e.l.f. HD. No, just e.l.f. cream blushes. They're from the studio line, though. That's what I was thinking. So this one is a Flirt, which is like a hot, hot, hot pink that I was really into back in the day. And this... I think this one's called Heartbreaker. That's how good my memory is. I swear to God, I didn't even look. Ha! This is Heartbreaker. And it looks like this... And they look really similar, like, just now, but actually, they're quite different. Flirt is really, really, really hot pink. Okay, those are going. Okay. Then I have four of these Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. Do you guys remember these? I don't even know if they still make these, but, like, when these came out, they were... I'm dropping everything. They were, like, the coolest thing ever. So, the whole, like, concept of it was it was like a cream blush but you press it and it's supposed to like bounce, it's supposed to like bounce back up but they don't actually physically bounce but it's still like really I don't know it's just so amusing <laughs> like and they actually are really pigmented like I do really like these. I haven't used them in a long time, but I seriously was a huge, huge, huge fan of these. I have Hot Tamale was one I just swatched. This one is Pink Frosting, which is like the neutral normal pink one. Um, Rose Petal, which is like the most neutral peachy nude ever. And then, well, that's what this one says. I don't know. This is the coral one. And this was the first one I bought. If you couldn't tell, it's like dead. But... These were the shit back in the day. When they came out, these were, like, seriously the shit. If you watched YouTube videos in, like, 2012, these were super cool. Um, and they actually are good cream blushes. I do like them, personally, because I love cream blush. But, and that's just me. Then I have these two Love & Beauty blushes. I don't even want to know how old these are. But, I don't know why I bought these. These are so bright and obnoxious. Like, hot, hot pink and literally orange. Like, so peach, it's like orange. And they're too pigmented. Yes. Too pigmented. This was literally one swipe, like... One swipe, barely touched them. Imagine putting that on your face and trying to blend it out. Like, too pigmented. Too pigmented. You look like a clown. These are impossible. Okay, then we have this NYX Stick Blush. I actually really like this. This is in Tulip. 
And what I do with this is I just would take my stipple brush and just like put it directly on the product and then blend it on. Like you could do this and then blend it out, but that was always like way too harsh for me because I'm really not a blush person, so I would just use my brush on this and then blend it on my face. And I actually did really like this blush. Then we have the Benefit Posy Tint. I love this stuff. This was like the bubblegum pink, like lip and cheek stain you know and these were like the ish back in the day where's my other one it's down here my cha-cha tit i kept this one in the box i don't know why because i'm just really weird but there's posy tint cha-cha tint high beam and then there's benetint lolly tint and i think they came out with like a sunbeam or something like the newer one but anyway, Posy Tint and Cha Cha Tint. Posy Tint is the bubblegum pink. The Bennett Tint is like bright red. And then this Cha Cha Tint is like the orangey one. So these are really cool. They were seriously really popular when they came out. They were, were really popular on YouTube for a while. They're not like that talked about anymore. But they are still good products. I like them. It's just weird because I'm really into cream products. And even for me, it's weird that it's straight liquid like liquid I don't know I don't know if it's just me anyway this video is too long okay next this is my favorite blush this is the blush I use every single day it's what I'm wearing right now I love it love it love it it's the next cream blush in natural it's my favorite it looks really gross because I just take my stippling brush in it and put it on and you know like do this every day so there's a lot of like um you know little brushes in it brushes is that what they're called bristle I don't know basically you know when your brush sheds it kind of gets like that but this is my favorite blush ever this is what I use every day if I wear blush I wear this one okay then we have this Mac cream blush in something special I really like this when I first bought it but I haven't used it in quite some time I don't know. It's just not the like shade of blush that I wear anymore. This is it right here. I'm swatching this stuff so weird. Anyway, okay. Um, MAC blushes, not a fan, too expensive, and like nothing special. <laughs> this is called something special. Anyway, MAC blushes, it's like you can get them from the drugstore and they're just as good quality. You don't need to buy one from MAC, in my opinion. Okay, then. We have this Love & Beauty blush that is actually really, really good. It doesn't have a name or anything, but it's actually really pigmented. My fingers are just pink. Like, this is pointless. Okay, anyway, this is actually a good blush. Then we have the NYX Powder Blush in Mocha. I freaking love this. I actually put a little bit of this on today over this, but I really like this one. This is another powder blush that I actually do wear. Then we have... I had three of these, but I gave one away. I don't know. This one is Tickled Pink. It is like the matte baby bubblegum pink. This one is Candid Coral, which is the prettiest coral color ever. I love this one. And then I had some like obnoxious glittery one, and I hate glitter. I love shimmer. I hate glitter. Okay, then this is the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. If you have not like heard hype about Wet n Wild blushes, they are seriously probably the best blushes from the drugstore. Besides NYX, I do really like NYX blushes, but like from the OG original drugstore, Wet n Wild for sure. They are amazing. They're super pigmented. They have a lot of different colors. You'll find one that you like that looks good on your skin tone. And they're like $3. So pigmented. It's going to last you forever. 10 out of 10. Okay, then we have the Benefit box blushes. So first one I bought was the Benefit Sugar Bomb, and it looks like this. It's like four shades, not swirled, but you know what I mean? Like, there's just four little triangles. And there's like a peachy, a mauve purple, a pink, and then like a red rosy color. And I just swirl my, swirl my brush in the middle and just put it on, and it's really pretty. I actually do really like this blush. Then we have Coralista. I freaking love the packaging on this one. It's just so cute. And I really, really like this one. The coral shimmers in it are so pretty. It has like gold reflex. This one is really pretty. And the smell amazing. 
They smell so good. And they're blushes, which is weird, but like they smell really good. Okay, then, guys, look how cute this is. I literally just like had to buy it. They had little minis of the box things around Christmas time for like stocking stuffers. Like, look at this mini baby hole on this little dandelion. It's so cute. And I like allowed myself to get this because this one I actually had pan on. So, this one I really do like. It's just a nice baby pink. It's just the perfect, like, neutral everyday blush color. It would look good on a lot of skin tones. Love it. Those are all my blushes. Sorry, this video was really long for the fact that I own, like, ten blushes. But you guys know me. I talk a lot. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Seriously, don't click out of this video without commenting down below and telling me what category of makeup you want to see next. Because I really want to know which specific area you guys want to see next because I don't know what to do honestly like I really sat here and was like is blushes boring I don't know I'm not into blush so I feel like it's boring but please let me know down below what you want to see next for the mini makeup collection because I really don't know what would be most interesting I want to do what you guys want to watch so let me know down below other video requests greatly appreciated because I'm trying to upload a lot so leave requests down below so I can like Keep a move on because I don't want to get stuck and like run out of video ideas and then not upload. You know what I mean? So leave a request down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and please subscribe because I'm back and like making hella videos. So subscribe because it just makes me really happy. It makes me cry and I love all of you so much and I'll see you next time.